Since early this year, the three alleged witnesses had been placed under ICC's witness protection program until recently when they came out to claim that they had been coached and bribed by the Kenyan National Commission on Human Rights to implicate Eldoret North MP William Ruto. Mm -hmm. And after the Human Rights Watchdog came out to clarify that they had been duped by the witnesses, the Office of the Prosecutor at The Hague has also issued an official statement on the matter. A statement from Ocampo's office stated that investigations into the post-election violence will not rely on the testimonies from the said three witnesses. The statement further stated that the three witnesses had never provided testimonies before the Office of the Prosecutor and therefore, they were not going to be presented by his office as witnesses before the judges. The statement adds that Ocampo's office was aware that there are individuals who are trying to intimidate or bribe possible witnesses and has accordingly informed Kenyan authorities to move swiftly and take action. We'll present the case before the judges against six individuals that we consider the most responsible of the crimes committed. After Ocampo concludes his case and applies for summons for the key suspects before the pre-trial chamber, it will take two to three months for the judges to make their ruling whether the suspects have a case to answer or not. At this point, the names of the suspects will be revealed to the public. I think that the prosecutor is also changing strategy from what has not worked very well, issuing arrest warrants, uh, to something new, uh, which will suggest that he will enter some discussion with the suspects and ask them uh, to come before the court. We are with us, with you. We are working together to ensure that there is justice in Kenya, that victims are compensated, and there is no more violence in the future in the Kenya country. After the summons, the implicated individuals will be required to travel at the Hague at the expense of the courts. If they fail to honor the summons, then the prosecutor will have to go back to the judges and apply for warrants of arrest. Uh, so if you want to avoid that indignity of being subjected to an arrest like, uh, and shackled and, and handcuffed, uh, you try and avoid that and go to the court by yourself. If arrested, then they would have no obligation but to be retained at the cells until their case is determined. If found guilty, then their property will be attached to the courts to foot the expenses that were acquired during your trial. Chris Dairu, Citizen Live at 9, Nairobi.